Welcome to the League of Legends Champion Spotlight, featuring Trundle, the Cursed Troll. Trundle is a tanky DPS champion, somewhat similar to Singed. He's also an extremely potent jungler and ganker, lending to a very powerful early game. Trundle's passive is Decompose. Whenever an enemy minion, monster, or champion dies, a percentage of its max health is converted into healing for Trundle. Now, let's introduce his active abilities. First comes Rabid Bite. Trundle lurches forward, biting his target. He deals physical damage and steals a portion of the target's attack damage for a few seconds. The cooldown is shorter than the duration, so you should be constantly beefing yourself up. Second is Contaminate. Trundle corrupts an area of the ground, and when he's on it, he moves and attacks faster, while also lowering the duration of crowd control effects like stuns and slows that affect him. His most signature ability is Pillar of Filth. Trundle creates an impassable pillar on the ground, which also slows nearby enemies, allowing you to block off passages or simply slow enemies for a chase or escape. Trundle's ultimate is Agony. Agony deals damage and lowers the target's armor and magic resist by a percentage which increases over time. Trundle also steals all those stats for himself while the buff is on. Trundle's abilities have quite a few subtleties to them, so let's check them out. Rabid Bite is a free attack that resets your attack timer and applies on hit effects. Your best option is to activate the ability immediately after landing a normal attack to increase your overall damage output. Also, the ability moves you forward slightly when it strikes, so it can be a good chasing tool too. When fighting against Trundle, remember that Contaminate is limited to just one area. Here, Ash kites me until I'm off Contaminate before smacking me in the face with Enchanted Crystal Arrow, meaning I take the stun's normal duration. Pillar of Filth has quite a few uses. Like Anivia's Crystallize, Pillar can block off small passageways, preventing enemies from escaping. Similarly, it can help your teammates land their skill shots. Here, Morgana can't quite reach Ash with Dark Binding, but by sending her backwards and slowing her with Pillar of Filth, Morgana makes an easy shot. If you have good aim, you can also use Pillar to save teammates. While Heimerdinger is being chased by the enemy Trundle, placing the Pillar directly between them will separate the two champions and block off the chase. Finally, when fighting an enemy Trundle directly, it's always best to cast Pillar of Filth after your opponent does. While he tries to block me off with his cast, I'm now able to completely pin him into the golem area with my own. Because Agony steals a percentage of the enemy's stats, your best bet is to target durable enemies like Malphite, Ramus, or any enemy champion stacking defensive items. Here, Agony allows me to initiate a teamfight on top of the tower and get away alive. If you take Smite, you can use it to trigger Decompose by killing a minion or monster, which just might save you in a pinch. I play Trundle as a jungler. When playing a jungler, you should always stand somewhere to watch for your opponents before the monsters spawn. In this case, I stay at the brush, watching the main inlet from the purple team base, until around 1 minute 30 seconds before running down. Start at the wolf camp, using Rabid Bite to kill just the big wolf. Run immediately after to the Ancient Golem Camp, taking it down with Rabid Bite and Smite. If you're concerned about Golem being stolen, remember that at level 1 versus Golem, Smite deals exactly 547 damage. For runes, I take Armor Penetration Marks, Dodge Seals, Flat Magic Resist Glyphs, and Flat Attack Speed Quintessences. My masteries are 11910, taking Improved Smite, as much damage mitigation as I can in defense, and improved Ghost with neutral buff duration and utility. I max out Rabid Bite as soon as possible, with Contaminate following, and leaving Pillar of Filth at one point. For items, I start with Cloth Armor and 5 Health Potions. Mercury Treads and Madrid's Razors are next. Your first big item should be Frozen Mallet. Afterwards, I like to take Guardian Angel, Banshee's Veil, Randuin's Omen, and Madrid's Blood Razor, in no particular order. Let's put this all together in a larger fight. Kennen is isolated, so I charge in with Contaminate and help kill him with Rabid Bite, but I save Pillar of Filth until I need it. The enemy Trundle charges in and I use Pillar of Filth when I know where he's running. 
Using Agony, I help kill him while surviving Karthus' damage output thanks to the heal on Decompose. Finally, using Frozen Mallet, we're able to chase down and kill Karthus. Overall, if you're looking for a damage dealer with some unique utility, look no farther than Trundle. And if you find a build that works better, let us know in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to the Trundle Champion Spotlight. But don't think that you can- DEFEAT TRUNDLE?! Are you trolling?